First, it's Sonny, Showtime Edwards. He's 160 centimeters tall with 164 centimeter reach. And challenging him tonight, it's Charlie the Eagle Edwards. He comes in 168 centimeters tall with a 168 centimeter reach. <laughs> I'll always go for reach every time over anything. If you've got reach, touch with speed, nobody's going to touch you. But someone that can get in close, that has the power to get up close and personal and break those ribs, get those shots into the body, you've got to look out for that. And here is Showtime, Sonny Edwards. And this guy has already taken the boxing world by storm in the flyweight division. Charlie the Eagle Edwards fighting out of the United Kingdom, the WBC flyweight world champion. Just take note, Todd. Check out the reach. Check it out. There you have it. It is time to go and cannot wait for this fight. This bout is scheduled for three rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from London, England, here is a flyweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sonny Edwards. Hiding out of the blue corner, Introducing from London, England, a flyweight world champion, Charlie Edwards. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. You know, look at the stars, ex-fighters, ex-champions, ringside. You've got future opponents, past opponents. That's what these fights do. That's what these venues do. Good luck. What a fight we expect this one to be. Both of these athletes primed and ready. Perfect punch. He takes that jab. with that jab. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. You just see the nerves on a fighter stepping into the ring toss. It can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking up as a corner. You've got one fighter that in heaven. This is where they want to be. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Better be careful, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Just misses with that jab. Another scoring shot there. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. He misses with that jab. This fight with the 
judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Not much to write home about in that round, huh, Johnny? I know those rounds, and you know what? We'll get excited. We want it straight away, but these fighters know what round they've got to work to. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Missed him with that uppercut. Fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. That left scores. Misses with that jab. Insane action. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So much for boxing. This is a fight. He misses with that jab. He didn't take that jab well at all. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Power. power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. I don't know which fighter is winning this battle. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. First one to get caught. He got out of the way that right hook. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you are thinking, you've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fake and a pickpocket them. And 
he just missed with that left jab. Not a lot of defense here at all. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Yeah. And through the hook, didn't land. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. He scores with that right uppercut. Fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What are you gonna do? Sonny Edwards took that really bad. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan. What a result.